So yeah, I'm today I'm playing Stellaris. Um, I've started playing the game and I've actually um, already been at war with from three different um, enemy empires and uh, I kind of decided to destroy one of them, which um, which is here. Well, they, they only had a single planet here, so um, I've kind of taken it over and um, currently um, slowly neutering the population, so I'm getting quite a lot of um, unity. <clears throat> and uh, I, um, yeah, basically I've managed to um, get a pretty strong army and I've um, been doing fairly well so far. I just thought I'd let you guys watch for it, you know. It's uh, a really good game, actually, you know. Um, you know, you've got to make really difficult decisions. Um, I am actually a um, determined purifier or determined exterminator um, biological empire um, I'll just show you my uh, so uh, here we've got some post-apocalyptic and fantastic purifiers and we're militarist and fanatic xenophobe uh, so just thought um, you guys could watch um, at the moment, I've um, destroyed an enemy. Um, well, like I say, I've destroyed an enemy here, so um, they lost their territory. So I've just been reclaiming it slowly, uh, or, or pretty rapidly. And I've noticed there's um, a load of planets up here and a planet, well, two planets here. And I kind of think if I could take those planets, it would give me a huge advantage because most of the other empires only have two or three um, sort of foam planets. So um, that's, that's kind of a plan. Uh, like I say, I've already been involved with a lot of combat and I had to sacrifice a lot of my, the lower area down here. But um, yeah, I did manage to destroy one of the enemies, so uh, it's going fairly well. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of talking, although I've um, already done quite a bit, I guess. Now, um, when I took over the, this planet here, I had a lot of resource problems, so... I'm just trying to build my resource base back up quickly. Um, you might notice I'm um, low on food, um, consumer goods and energy. So um, getting those up is um, quite high priority now. Uh, um, generally speaking, um, a lot of the enemies are on, <coughs> they're on cooldown. So, uh, oh, it looks like these guys are at war. Right, we're at war with the Star League, which I assume is here. Yeah. So, you know, I could probably sweep in, but at the moment I just want to build up my economy, you know? Um, there's a. I've been focusing a lot on technology because I kind of feel that's the best investment, mathematically. So, if you imagine technology might improve your ships by 10%, and you and the enemy spend an equivalent amount on ships. Um, well, the way this game works is you're going to have a huge advantage if um, you know you've got even a slight, advan slight advantage with your ships. So I've gone for expansion first, then supremacy, which was very useful, and now I'm sort of going for prosperity. So <clears throat> Construction complete. and yeah, I'm just trying to capture East really. So I know someone is going to de declare war on me pretty soon. Probably won't be this guy because it looks like he's being invaded and attacked. So... Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, he's probably expended a lot of his army just taking a lot of my territory. So, uh, yeah, definitely want to build up my defense as much as possible. I could have a few more star bases, I guess. And, uh, probably this one. Right, I've got a problem with food and consumer goods. I I oh, really want to grow my population, so um, there's a real focus because if you look here, there's 44 undesirables right here, and uh, you know, huh, hardly any pretty here. So um, really want to try to get my food up and consumer goods. 
So these um, are just fantastic for selling. Get a lot of resources from these, so... Uh... I know they can give me advantage in battle, but uh, at the moment I really need the um, resources. If you've noticed, I've changed it so that um, alerts will appear up top here. They won't just appear in the middle of a screen. Kind of, I don't know, ruins gameplay and immersion for me, so I just find this easier. And I also really want to colonize some planets. So what do we need? Food and consumer goods. Right, more consumer goods. I know this is going to cost resources, but it's really an investment. And, you know, I should probably put more. Oh, God. Construction complete. Complete. So I'm thinking, um. Okay, so my main army's here. It's fairly weak. It was at about 4,000. Was it about, um, yeah. About 4,000, um, 4,500, um, but it's um, been diminished. Obviously, um, chips act a bit like a tax here, so the more chips you have, the bigger the sort of drain on your economy. So, um, sort of deliberately leaving that a little bit, well, small, the army size. Probably shouldn't do that, but uh, the economy also um, prevents the enemy from attacking. I've also put the enemy on aggressive, so um, all the enemies are extra aggressive towards me, so... Um, wouldn't surprise me if we're going to declare war pretty soon. Like I say, probably all at once, which won't help. I mean, I could do a preemptive strike on this guy up here. Um, let's see his relative strength. I think it's equivalent. Oh, Christ. Okay, I think I'm going to have to build up my um, fleet strength then. I don't know. I'm sort of thinking habitability is a problem at the moment. Oh, shoot. Habitability is a problem, so if I can possibly get some more um, habitability from my Unity, that'd be great. Um, so, yeah, that would actually be a big boost to my, um, to my economy if I could gonna go with adaptability next. And don't forget, um, because I'm slowly purging the pops on this planet, um, they're producing Unity. I mean, I should have probably left it on forced labour, but I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm also playing on Admiral, so um, kind of hard, I guess. There's so many... Um... Oh, over there, that's fine. Proms. Look at how many bloody empires there are. Right. Oh, look, the pacifists are gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, great, so they're xenophile and they're pacifist. Ugh. Right, I don't even know where they are, so let's see where they are. Oh, right, so I'm gonna have to bring my army up. Oh, that's kind of annoying because I can't even reach from. So this system's as good as dead. I don't think I can bring my, uh, no. Oh, that's kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing, I guess. Um, there's no way I can even reach them, really. But, uh, they'll kind of protect me, I guess. I mean, like I see in this kind of game, you're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices anyway. And you're going to have to really choose, you know, what you want to sacrifice, what you want to keep. As far as I'm concerned, territory is great, but, you know, planets also produce a heck of a lot of um, 
resources and things, so... Uh, I'm a bit mixed, and uh, I really want to increase production of consumer goods, it's really annoying me now. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to build up my army because I need them. Also, you might notice this is um, stage 2, so it'd be good if I can get all my star holds up. See, there's um, no money to collect. I mean, there's some money, well, there's some um, trade value to collect here, so we're going to go trading hub. Um, nothing to really collect around here, so... I don't actually know if these gun ba batteries and missile batteries really do anything. I mean, okay, I'm looking at my, um, increase your, um, ship power, which is pretty good. Construction complete. Okay, we're out of food. Okay, so... Oh my goodness, I didn't even finish my supremacy. Christ, I just noticed that. So transcending transcendent learning would be good, but the problem is I've already um I've got um, my species so that they um don't have long life, basically. So it's sort of a negative beat debuff on the species, so uh I don't think transcendent learning is gonna be very beneficial. Um, this is what I normally go for, Imperial Prerogative, right? Because if I look at my reach up here, at Empire Sprawl, um, so I've got 50, um, but my Sprawl is um, 147, so what that's going to do is it's going to slow down the um, production of goods and uh, research, but especially research. So I'm going to go for Imperial Prerogative? Ah, Imperial Prerogative. And uh, that should definitely um, speed up my research. As well as other things. Because my search, research was quite slow, despite the fact I actually had quite a lot of... Uh... So I'm going to go for Robo Modding, because I've already got a few um, robots in my species. Yeah, 23, so they can really benefit from um, <coughs> producing, um, well, I don't know, more food, I guess. Also, thinking about it, I'm going to check for it, um, see if there's any, um, if I can settle any, um, any population here, because, um, I used to have some, uh, oh, here we go, unemployed. Right, so we're going to need some more, um, energy to do that, so, I really shouldn't be selling this, I should be investing it, but, you know. Gonna invest in the economy, I guess. Right, so there's less um, unemployment now, which is good. So I've still got zero unemployment. Here's a good tip: if you've got zero unemployment, then you don't really need to build buildings here because they're just going to take energy off you, and they're not going to really produce anything because they can't be staffed. So you only really need to fill in um, fill in the jobs if you've got unemployed pops. That's a very good tip because um, I think probably a lot of people uh, kind of fail a bit because they don't actually take that into account. So we've got three planets which are kind of being um, colonised right now. <sighs> I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start focusing on upgrading these. Or should I just work on my main fleet? I don't know. Gene modification, yeah, that'll do. Construction complete. So if you hold control and shift, you can actually um, put orders to the front of the BLQ 
So that's um pretty good advantage here. So I can do the same with here if I was already building. Don't know what to do to be honest. I'm at full speed. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. My consumer goods has increased. That's probably the um, population filling out on here and sort of replacing the old population. Right, we've still got 42, which are slowly being purged. I've chosen neutering, and look at their habitability, 100%. The happiness is still 25%, despite the fact they're being destroyed. It's not bad. The happiness of these. 70%. It's not bad, really. But look, look how many clerks there are missing. We produce so much energy if we just had a big population. So... One of the things I might do is I might sell some of this and buy some of that and let's um, increase the population with uh, encouraged growth. Fantastic. Oh, look at this green planet. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to get a cruiser. I also like to keep all my um, forces together. Um, I've noticed the enemy likes to um, split them into at least two different areas. So, uh, or two different forces, sorry. Which um, means that both are going to be, you know, less than full strength. But yeah, if you keep them all together, obviously you've got more firepower there. <clears throat> Alright, so this is upgraded. Not doing too badly, I don't think. Apart from the um, number of ships, we really need more ships. Uh. Okay, so there's six trade value to be had there. Can't really be bothered to take this. Um, look, uh, can't see the resources. Never mind. Oh god. There's a problem with um, having species that die quickly. Actually, no, you stay there. You um, help with their research. No, there's unemployment here, so um, perhaps we should um, repair that energy grid. So, like I say, if. Um, Expanded here, um, which is pretty good. Uh, and I'm still still waiting for someone to declare war on me again. Oh my god! Apart from them, you already have. Great, we've got a new world up. Uh, see if there's any um anyone we can resettle. Ah, uh, oh, here we go. Two unemployed. Give them some. Uh, So we've got loads of minerals, we just need to um, convert them more, so...
I always like to build a um, robot assembly plant because it increases the population growth speed. I mean, of course, um, food does too. But um, yeah, we're going to have more powerful robots when we modify them. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to build one farm for now. And we transfer some more resources, I think. So I've just got these on um, basic balance, uh, which is pretty good because it'll um, basically produce things that will keep your economy balanced. So it kind of helps you balancing it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to upgrade my sectors, right? Okay, let's produce one of them, two of them. Okay, so I really want to increase growth of um, population. So, I sell these. Um, and just buy food. Fantastic. Uh, oh, look, and we've got another one. We have a new Fantastic. Now, what should we do? I'm kind of thinking we're a determined exterminator, so what do you think would be good? Uh, right, engineered evolution will be good, but it requires gene tailoring. I'm pretty darn sure we've almost got gene tailoring. Yeah, 54 months. So I think I'm going to wait until gene tailoring is complete. Then she's fat. Um, nothing else I really want. Um, I need. I think that would be good, but um, again, I need droids. And actually, I prefer gene tailoring because um, it'd be good to have really fast population growth. Especially with all these planets that need to be filled up. Construction complete. We have mastered a new technology. Yeah, let's go for encourage planty growth. Oh crumbs. Advanced shield sounds good to me. <sighs> okay, let's then sell some minerals then. Great template. What are we going to go for? What do we really need? Don't really need minerals or food. Consumer goods. Um, Assembly speed would be good, and what do we think? Upkeep. I don't really need uh, any of these. Efficient processors is really good too. So I think that will do. Supply the template. Situation log updated. So bear in mind that modifying this species is going to actually um, produce new weapons research. Um, but that's okay. Um, what's it going to be denied for the intoxicating effect? Oh, uh, intoxication. Uh, let's just leave it, shall we? He doesn't sound too happy with me. Ah. <laughs> oh. doing Ah <sighs> 
<sighs> I strength from the army again. Then I think they're going to be relatively strong. No? Your best strength dropped. It used to be higher than that. I think strength is based on relative strength compared to other empires and things, so really want to keep them upgraded um, as much as possible. Oh, terraforming equipment, nothing but problem. Oh shoot, that's why. That's why the relative power's low. I'll tell you why that's like that, because our um, campaigns have come to an end. Oh wow, I didn't even know we had these. Didn't used to. Right. We need some energy. Need to invest, man. Right, let's get the population healthcare campaign. What else we have? Great healthcare campaign. Plus 10% health is 10% growth. It's always welcome. Construction complete. <clears throat> food and goods. Actually I bet the market price is huge right now. System survey complete. Oh yeah, food. Again, this is all um, an investment, really. Construction complete. Hmm. Twenty-six months left. Lost the bureaucracy. Oh. Right, I think we'll build a civilian industry here. And how are we doing? Unemployment. Let's build a uh, commercial zone here. I should produce a few more goods, a few more, well, more energy. You know, to be honest, I'm kind of bored of this war. Nothing's actually happened. I can't even reach them. I don't really want to, to be honest. I mean, I'm perfectly happy just expanding here. Okay. If you don't want to explore, you can go help with, with uh, research. Let's me have a planet gun. <laughs> we got that one, and oh, that is a planet. God, this enemy really took a lot of my uh, space. Oh, but I can't reach it. Right, never mind. Fantastic, we've got modified robots. 
cash is great, they should be produced more quickly. And use less energy, which is good. What if, oh, it's only gone down by one. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Okay, let's give you some. He's upgraded anyway, right? I think um, having Dependence actually puts the enemy off attacking you. Because I think they kind of view your overall power, including all your defences as well, so it's good to get these upgraded. Especially when I've got such good alloys. Ugh. <sighs> See what I really need is I really need a load of food right now. So I'm gonna buy some I think. Oh, it'd be nice if we could actually Why do we really need it? Population still expanding, so hmm. already got it there. See, we've got unemployment, which is kind of annoying. Actually, sure we already have it there. Hmm. Gene clinic. I love. Gene clinics just help boost the population growth speed. Uh. Let's get another gene clinic, shall we? Pop growth speed, and it's going to produce amino seeds and things. So awesome. There's nothing we can really spend um, our influence on. It's kind of annoying. <sighs> Resort world, that's pretty useless for our species at the moment. But uh, yep, naval capacity will be good. Where do we go? I think I said adaptability, didn't I? Okay, put paddles in usage, 10%. So yeah, I really want um, the habitability modifier because a lot of these over here, these planets were yellow. So um, plus 10% is... Um, and plus our population is pretty happy, so uh, yeah, plus 10% habitability is going to really help the uh, economy. I must have got a gene modification by now. Yes, I did. So let's go gene modification. Engineered evolution. Perfect. You know, considering all the enemies are so aggressive, it's kind of amazing. Um, only one person's declared war on me. Oh, look at that! We've got. Four modification points, awesome. Uh, yeah, why not? At least that's one person who can't attack me for a little while. Okay. Create template. 
I don't really care about governing ethics. I mean, I guess we'll get rid of it. Lead a lifespan, that is annoying. So, what do we need? We need energy, consumer goods, could reduce cons Something like that might be good. Um, Rapid growth speed. Okay, let's go. See, I could go agrarian, right? Because um, my pop's eating a lot of food. But again, I'm a determined exterminator, so I can just um, convert people into food if I need to. Huh. Um, probably should go intelligent, actually, because um, I'm quite research focused, so. Uh, Oh, I guess um, plus ten percent would be good. Also, considering that um, the other species can have um, you know, trade deals and uh, research deals, and I can't actually have them, so I've got to generate on my own research. So that's probably the best thing to do. Uh, I get to keep my um, plus five percent bioadaptability, which is good. Only twenty percent adaptability, intelligent. Awesome um, supply template, I guess. Oh Christ, 147. Okay, that's well, done. Again, need more energy and consumer goods. Actually, I think I'm just going to put more um, resources in here. Let's get all these upgraded. <sighs> the enemy's only really exploring um, my territory because, um, well, they went to war with us. Ah, here we go. Spiritualists and egalitarians, right. This is just them. Oh, Christ. Okay, there's um, three people in this alliance. Uh, for them. Them. I don't think them. Move of the capital. And here's um, the third group. So we don't really need to worry about blue. Um, I mean, what typically happens is um, when the enemy declares war, the ships all s sort of stay near the um, home world, basically. Or they'll um, be somewhere in the system. Um, I think the part of the machine that um, declares war isn't the same as the. Uh, Part of the control but controls units, so you know they're different um, computer programs basically. So it um, can't coordinate as well as we can. So yeah, let's have a look at a thousand strength. I don't. Oh, that's a thousand eight hundred. That's pretty decent. So we might take this sector, but they might struggle to um, actually take this um, this area here. So um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just check and see if I can reinforce this. I'm going to check that I've got both of these. Oh look, I can get um 
bring this armor. Do that. So yeah, I'm not too um, worried about these guys down here. Um, I'm a bit more worried about these guys up here. So this is probably where I want to attack and take um, take some territory. Oh Christ, three thousand. Of course, I'm going to have to make sure that my energy stays up, otherwise I'm going to be absolutely slaughtered. All my energy consumer goods. Oh, it pains me, but I'm going to have to sell this food, I think. I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on this. So, okay, um, the blues can't really reach me down here. The teals are fine, and um, I'm gonna be attacking here. So, I guess I'm gonna. Hmm. Not a bad army. So, um. Probably gonna need more. If I want to assault a planet, I'm going to need more than that. I think I'm going to need about at least 15 um, units if I want to take a planet without spending ages bombarding it. What do we have here? It would be really good if we can liberate these um, these planets so that I can actually get into um, my base. So, uh, right. I guess we can... Phew. Need more resources, generally speaking. Okay, I spoke too soon. Actually, it does seem like they've been planning an invasion right here. So, again, I've kind of got an advantage here because the enemies all split up, right? So got a small advantage because mine are um, nice and together. So the trick here is to um, not attack the enemy, let them come to you and they'll send um, a load of smaller units which you can kind of kill off and then kill the next ones and kill the next ones which um, doing a small advantage. Um, what do I need? I don't need Star Fortress, you know, I'd love a few of them. Oh, look at those advanced shields. Oh, wish I could have upgraded. Let's have a look here. So this is the only way the enemy can really attack me. Fantastic, that's good news. I think I'm going to be channeling all, channeling, channeling all my resources into producing ships right now. <sighs> Generally speaking with research, if um, there's nothing you particularly want, I always go for the research that takes, takes the least amount of time, because, um, you know, research is good to have, basically, and, you know, you get a bit more if, obviously, it goes quicker. I also tend to like larger ships as opposed to smaller ships because they um lesser destroyed basically. So um if you've got, I don't know, ten small ships and one large ship and they've got equivalent power then um you know the large ship's probably gonna win because the ten are gonna start going down to nine, eight, seven, etc. One of our stations is under attack. Station is that. Oh, jeez, can only really hope. What can I do to actually help them? Um, could do shield boost. That might give me a bit of a bit of help. Ah, myself.
So, wait, how much was shield boost? I don't know if it's going to be worth it for me to do or not. 137, so... I'm not going to be able to get enough resources together to really do that, I don't think. Give it a go. Okay, so let's get the shield boost. Now let's see what that does to the power of this um, station. I assume the uh, shields help the station. Shield 4-6. Well, even if it doesn't help the station, it will help my fleet. Actually, it may not change the power because, um... Well, that is fantastic. Looks like the shield... Looks like the station's actually held. Great. Right. So that's good news. You know, in a way, I quite like it when um, aliens are blocking the path because it um, adds another layer of defence for your empire. It's kind of annoying too if you want to attack, but um, no, it can be um, used to your advantage. Got another nice planet down here, which would be good. To actually, colonise. Great. Let's. Oh yeah, right, I wanted to um, get a bigger, arm, bigger army, didn't I? So, I said about 15. Now, bear in mind, you can... Um, oh, jeez. He didn't want that to happen. So, um, this um, enemy here is now going to be attacking me. It's kind of a pain. But, uh, see the power strength, right, equivalent. Kind of reassuring. So, this is upgraded now, so um, I might stick in some of these. And I'd like to get this upgraded too. Oh, shoot. Consumer good situation is so annoying. You seem to produce more of them, I guess. Oh, that has been upgraded. Fantastic. Now, I'm really hoping that um, these will actually hold against any kind of assault, although I don't know. Peace off, uh... It would be great to take a lot of this, actually. It's all pretty well under under defended. <sighs> so bear in mind, I'm already over my um, starbase capacity, so I uh,
may have to get rid of one or two of these. So uh, that's just trash. Get rid of that. And uh, don't really need that one. Xeno fleet detected. Why do you keep detecting Xeno fleets? Oh, fine. Tell you what, I'm going to take this back, but I want to get rid of this um, B ships first. Yeah, I'd like another cruiser actually. Get the power up. So again, this is good. Bear in mind that um, I used to control a lot of this territory down here, but um, lost it in the um, previous wars. Um, not doing too badly, to be honest. That's still 72. Or 74. these consumer goods are so annoying. Oh my goodness, I don't even have a general. I always have a general. <laughs> Do we think Joker? Sensor range, so much speed. Upkeep, oh. Here we go, Joker. Fantastic. Now you go up there. You go kill those ships. I tell you what, I'd love to do. I'd love to um, cut a sway through here and just um, take their um, capital down here. That would be fantastic. So for that I'm going to need a few more of these. Oh crap. Critical resource shortage. Oh. Oh, it's too many star bases. It's um messing with my chi. Well, I don't really need these to be star bases anyway. So great. That should hopefully fix my energy credits mostly. Let's have a look when it turns over. Come on. Okay, <laughs> nothing to do with us. Come on, I need more armies. Okay. Look, that's going to be good enough, I think. So. I'm going to put them as 9 on my keypad, and oh look at all this extra territory, oh it's lovely. See what I'm going to do, I'm going to split these in half, 
it's um, a bit of a dodgy thing to do, but kind of means I can um, take the enemy um, land a lot more quickly. And let's rendezvous here, right? Great. I'm gonna have to keep an eye that um, an enemy doesn't try to get me here. Oh, look at this. Let's see what happens when we uh, increase our habitability. Oh, just keep an eye up here. I'm expecting a huge improvement. Well, it's an improvement. Time project. Okay. Right. Let's get some um, searches down there. For searching. Search. Oh, uh, go to this one first. Then we'll search the others. Fantastic. Anything we can spend this on? Nope. Oh look, we've got clone bats. Fantastic, I didn't even know we had them. So, I'm gonna go gene clinics because you know how I love population growth. See, if you can get these upgrades, always get them, because they're so important and we produce so many goods and so many nice things. Current unemployment. Ugh, we need more population growth. Look, we need it. Let's get another factory here. Yeah. Civilian Industries. So, yeah, hopefully the population will grow on this planet. We'll um, get more people working in these um, civilian industries and everything will be fantastic. Hopefully. Okay, so our um, ships are still doing things. I'm going to go and um, take some of these and change the rendezvous point to here. Hey, what? This war's pretty sweet for me. I'm just taking all this territory. Do so you remember when I started the game how small my empire was? It's. Uh oh, crumbs. So, 4,000. Yep, we're gonna need to um, get back together ASAP. Our suite will be destroyed. Okay, let's merge these back into one. 420, 44. Ah, fantastic. We've got plenty of resources here. Um, well, I'm just thinking. Is there anything we can um, do in here which will give us uh, 
ammunition, explosions, kinetic weapons damage, explosive weapons damage. What are we even using actually? I haven't even checked on the ships. What are these? Um, shield damage and kinetic. Okay, so it looks like all of our ships are um, kinetic. Um, so we want kinetic damage. Um, explosive weapon. Kinetic damage, right. Fantastic. So um, now all of our ships should have a small boost. 5 8. Let's see if that goes up till. Oh! Look! It's gone from 5 8 to 6 3. Just from getting the um, kinetic weapons damage. So, um, yeah, that's brilliant. Sorry, enemies. I'm pretty screwed. That's pretty cool. We got some more research area, so. Brilliant. Notice the enemy computer always sends in um smaller number of uh, smaller amounts of ships afterwards. Whereas I like to keep them together. It's one of the major weaknesses of the AI actually. <sighs> so again, um I've got all these lovely troops which are going to um come here and hopefully take these two worlds which will be nice oh no our edits ended Let's check on my uh Go there first. Awesome. And I still have more research though. So. Oh my god! He's gonna have to retreat, I think. Oh drat. How could I not see this? I knew it was risky taking that, I should have probably kept an eye on it. Oh no! Ah! <sighs> Need more army now. I'm gonna have to cancel all that nice. Wayfinder pathways. Go destroy them. Bear in mind when you um click on um when you actually change the destination it can actually um interfere with the amount of time that you're um that it's gonna take to jump. So uh you don't wanna do that too often. Actually it may not be such a big problem now because more of the um time is spent travelling towards, well, between points instead of um, from point to point. Oh, okay. Oh, crumbs. We've got um, similar levels of firepower, so I guess I'm thinking I might have to um, maybe get a base to um, actually get the other hand. I don't think the star base is going to be ready in time, but.
pause it so we can watch the battle. Oh no! Nothing else we can really do, is there? We're not in here anyway. Of course, I think it's and hope the enemy doesn't have the um have guts to. Oh shoot! Oh, I can't sue for peace yet. How annoying. Probably should have produced more ships. I want a peace treaty. Give me a peace treaty, come on. Um, we've got all this nice territory. Special project complete. So bear in mind in this game, um, I've got my um, manufacturing base here. If um, my empire was a lot bigger, then I would um, probably create multiple um, areas to uh, manufacture. But um, at the moment, I'm still a relatively small um, empire, so I'm just keeping my manufacturing here. What happened to our food supply? It's appalling. You know, everyone already hates me, so um, I think I'm going to um, go to processing. That'll give me a big food boost, and I can probably build up my um, existing population with it. Which I assume is going to reduce my unity significantly. Oh, it increased it. <laughs> and okay, we've just modified the um our species. Fine. Construction complete. <sighs> We need two two six. Another um, not really worth buying, is it? It's expensive. Okay, this is up to six thousand, so I'm pretty sure I can take this. Yeah, for about ah <sighs> four thousand five hundred then. They're going to be destroyed. Oh. These consumer goods are so annoying. Mind you, look, I've got huge amounts of minerals. Alright, so we'll sell, that, sell them and... Give some more resources to these guys. Okay, great, and 
to, okay, right, we can start manufacturing more for the civilian industries. Wow, so we've got eight houses and four worker unemployment, so we'll probably demolish that. And, uh, we do. Build another energy. I'll tell you what, let's put some more, um, let's get some more growth, right? We can always move populations around later on. <laughs> now you want peace. Get lost. Xeno Mongols have declared war on each other. Crumbs, look at all the food we've got. It's awesome. We have mastered a new technology. What do we think? Plus 20% energy. Hmm. Search complexes. Both would be good. I'm going to go for the energy for now because we're kind of at war. We're probably going to be at war with other species too. Uh, so we said we were kinetic, didn't we, right? So I'm thinking advanced railguns. Ripper auto cannon. What do we think? Kinetic weapon path. Let's just do that. So much lovely food. Got population growth there and Probably not going to get down to um, the enemy home well with my uh, troops, at least not this war. It's taking me way too long. I mean, granted, I could probably try to get down to the enemy, but uh, I don't know. I really need more resources up here because then I can build up my army and then they won't can oppose me. Well. Construction complete. 
Oh. Oh, really? Construction complete. Right, so if I can take this little section, I'll be happy. Oh, gosh. We have mastered a new technology. What should we do? 10% food. Don't really need it right now. Um, one free building slot. Resettlement cost. Orbital, orbital bombardment damage reduced by 25%. Defense army damage. Pretty much useless because um, I don't plan on getting anything invaded. But uh, okay. Um, okay. Do that. No, I'm just going to get the bonus food actually. I think they've all got their um, bonus growth on now. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, this one doesn't. Incoming transmission. Let's get cloning pods. Actually, wait. Hmm, no, that's fine. So we're gonna take this, try to get some of this before our um before the auto timer runs out. Yeah, there's the um auto time out. Christ, why is our energy so low? But we've still got capacity overload. Let's sell some of this um, food then.
We could actually take peace now, and that would actually protect this. Um, from me taking over. Um, what do you think? What do you think? Hmm. Okay. Actually, perhaps that wasn't the best thing to do, but never mind. Oh yeah, where are you even? Oh, but I'm here. Now I'm having some of that. Oh, okay, that's why the energy is so low, it's because we've got too many star bases, right? So, uh... Okay, that's a lot better. I can probably upgrade this one. No, no, I'm going to take me back some of this. Oh, look, their economy's inferior. Okay. Look, there's no way I can actually get to um, the home world. It's kind of annoying. Unless... <gasps> oh, I can. Should I do that? Yeah, I might as well. Yeah. No, I don't want peace with you. I want to take your stuff. Wait a sec. I'm pausing it. I'm looking and I'm thinking, gee, look at all this lovely research up here. Lovely research. Yep, they're uh, being colonised. Classic. Anywhere else we can colonise? Okay, so basically, if you look at some um, our species, we're um, post-apocalyptic, right? So that means we started on a tomb world, and what it also means is, um, oh, well, the leader lifespan's good, I, I guess. Um, one of the good things is if you want to um, eradicate um, an enemy planet, you can turn it into a tomb well through um, a really severe bombardment or um, apocalypse bombardment, and uh, you can still inhabit it and um, it will still be fine, basically. So that's one of the advantages. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like Tomb World for some reason, and Determined Exterminate is fantastic because it just makes your ships more powerful. Um, obviously stops you um, being able to engage in much diplomacy or any diplomacy um, so um, yeah let me have a look what are we doing down there 
Ooh, look. Phasma Thrower's anti-matter. Awesome. Army strength is pretty low. I think they've got that homeworld and this one. So, you know, we might be able to destroy them completely. That'd be interesting. I mean, that'll create a massive um, power vacuum and um, allow these um, to expand into this area, but I don't Construction complete. don't mind that, really. I quite actually like having a buffer between me and the enemy because it's um I can currently go into enemy territory because I've just fought a war with them but um they can't go into enemy territory so it's um I don't have to worry so much about retaliation or whatever so what I think I'm gonna To be honest, I think I can uh, just invade this. Incoming transmission. You must be kidding, mate. Have, have a look at this. Awesome. So they're ours now. So hop to there and then hop to there. Brilliant. And you can go on automatic attack. Aggressive, okay. Shoot. If they've got one star in this system, I think I might be able to destroy them. Okay, we've got a pretty powerful army. I wonder if it's worth getting um, reactive armor, field boost. Let's just get explosive. Probably doesn't do anything. Gonna be a bit pushed for time here, so really want to um, colonize this place um, as quickly as possible. Come on, you can do it. Quick colonize. Ah. Quick! Awesome, okay, so Oh look, we've now taken both of the enemy homeworlds and they are destroyed. Oh my goodness me, that is fantastic. So yeah, we've destroyed two species. Um the species that was over here that you didn't actually see um at the start of the game and now we've taken this. So um 
Right, it's full on expansion mode. We need to um explore as quickly as possible and let's take this territory before the enemy does, right? I might even buy myself another um scientist um or two. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Awesome. And look, we've got huge amounts of influence. And I'm taking the territory cost next to nothing. Oh. Oh. Another species? Oh no. Where are they? Moij there. M O I J. Uh. To be honest, I don't really see what they're talking about. I'm not even anywhere near their um not anywhere near their worlds. What are you talking about? Maybe I'm just gonna ignore them. Okay, I do not know what they're talking about. So... Hey, I tell you what, that was fantastic. You know, the fact we destroyed the whole, um... Enemy species! Right, let's go upgrade the ships. And... Don't really care who um, we choose. Ego survey. And I'll tell you what, let's um. Build another construction ship here. Great. So at the moment, right, I'm thinking there's going to be barely any um, presents and these are going to be, be turned into food. So building ruined. Sort of thinking we need to um get some people moved in here. <gasps> Could you? No energy. And let's get all these moved in. Building ruined. No. Okay, so oh, yeah, let's just I don't care. Got to the limit. Um, cool. And let's um no. Okay, awesome. So we've got some workers moved in here. Um got too many star bases again. Hmm. 
Get rid of that one. Really? It's got growth encouraged. Uh, 60 pops being exterminated there. Two, yeah, two or three. Oh, where should we move from? Let's get from here, shall we? Can we get them from? Pop housing usage. Always good. Minus ten percent. Okay, so our uh, things have worn out. Look, at the moment I'm thinking, right, I've got loads of resources and everything's good, so... Right, now I've got loads of energy and I'm going to go bibbidi bobbidi boo Needs more energy. Healthcare. I don't know where he came from. Right. Oh no, what have we done? Did too much um, in the pot. See what our constructors are doing. Evasive maneuvers initiated. We have mastered a new technology. Oh my god, who's that? Bloody mercenaries! Oh, crumbs! What are you talking about? Flare attack! see him, there's nothing I can do anyway, apart from get these to retreat.
Damn, that's so annoying. Growth speed. Oh, that's awful. Construction complete. Construction I don't even know where they came from. Construction complete. Can you go away, please? Oh god, they're destroying the planet. Construction complete. Construction complete. I'm hoping we'll just go away. That's a freaking disaster, isn't it? We have Who are these even? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, maybe there's a wormhole or something. Yeah, do be gone. So I'm going to have a problem because, um, I've got the enemy here which is sort of blocking my uh, route and that's going to be cut off soon, so there's no way I can really get from here to here. So, um, I guess we'll just have to declare war on me later on and take the territory. But to be honest, I'm actually feeling pretty hopeful about um, this game. Some, it's been quite good so, so far. Um, I think I'm going to um, pause it now. Um, so I may just upload this uh, to YouTube as a standalone because it's already pretty long. And uh, put in um, part two later on. But uh, yeah, I really, really hope that you've enjoyed watching and... Uh, Yep, look for number part well, look for part two when it comes out and uh yeah, let me know in the comments and everything if uh well what do you think? So Thanks for watching everyone. Goodbye.